everybody. So I have tilted my camera around because my apartment is in a current state of bleh. I don't even know how to say it otherwise. It's just, I'm behind on everything, <laughs> including tidying my apartment. But I did some things to cheer myself up, like wearing ice cream earrings. Scoop, scoop. Yum, yum. Ruggles ice cream premium. No one will know that jingle unless they are from Ohio, where I grew up. Because that played all the time and it was Garfield. Let's just let's focus at the mission at hand. The mission at hand is that I have another haul for you from Mod Cloth. If you don't know this, I love Mod Cloth. A little space in my heart for them. This is sponsored by Mod Cloth. I have pretty much a long relationship with them and I want to support them just as much as they want to support me, which is like the greatest thing in the world, right? Like. When I get to create things for a brand I love, it's the best. Actually, that's pretty much all the time with me because I just don't work with a brand unless I truly believe in them and what they offer. So, MyGloth is one of my favorite companies to shop at. It's really high quality, they're size inclusive, and I just like their stance on body positivity and female empowerment. They're just doing a lot. And like, it's very rare that I have companies reach out to me and say like, how can I be more diverse? And that's Typically the type of conversations I have with Mod Cloth. Mod Cloth Love Fest. fest bleh, Mod Cloth Love Fest. Aside, let's jump into the items in this haul. So, the first item we have is this adorable t-shirt tunic thing. It's like long enough to be a tunic, but short enough to also be a t-shirt. And it's a little bit oversized, which I love. It's in a black and white stripe, which I feel like if you have not gotten my memo yet, Love me some stripes for this season. Stripe me up, it's the best. So, it's awesome and you can style it so many different ways. You've got a little interesting detail here. So they've actually cuffed the sleeve and sewn it. So it's got like a little um, wrapped up cuff here at the sleeve, which is awesome. As far as what this is made out of, it is made out of bum, ba -da -bum, polyester, viscose, and spandex. It feels real soft. Like this is 100% a lounge shirt, a run errand shirt, but like you could make it look super nice, but it's the type of shirt you're gonna wanna wear when you wanna be comfortable. And that's, the, I mean, you need those in your wardrobe. In fact, sometimes I think I value those things more than I value things that make me look super fantastic because I'm always gonna reach for this when I get home. Does anybody else do that? When you get home, you're like, you look fabulous, right? You look absolutely, Splendiferous, and the first thing you do is like bra off, comfy shirt on, Golden Girls on. I like to watch reruns of Golden Girls. That's something I do a lot. I just really into them. Oh, a cute little detail I just noticed: the sewing here, like where they've reinforced the seam and put the low, like the whatever you call that, the tag. They put just a little floral prayer. How cute is that? And stripes are so in, guys. Stripes are so in. I'm about to rock the hives. <laughs> I'm weird today. Oh, wait, no. I'm weird every day. The next item we have is just so adorably cute. It's actually, I have to button it back up because I tried things on first because the light was really good earlier and I was, I just wanted to make myself look pretty on the camera. You know, sometimes I do things to be pretty. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. And if I'm pretty, I pity any girl that isn't me tonight. La 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 la. Sorry, I did that to distract you while I buttoned all of the buttons. So this is a button up skirt all the way down so you can actually unbutton it. I don't know how you would wear that. I don't know how you wear a skirt like you wear a cardigan, AKA unbuttoned but you have that option. It's probably pretty helpful if you're putting it on and you have a larger chest, not me, because I just, again, over the head. It also has a little wraparound tie that goes around the front and just tie it here in a little bow or wherever you want. Or what I think would be super cute with this skirt is to take this tie out and put like a thin colored belt through. Adorable, super stylish. This is a longer skirt, it's about just a little bit below the knee. It also has pockets, lest we forget the magic of the world that is pockets. So it makes it just kind of the perfect little summer day skirt. It's cotton and polyester, which means, you know, it's, it's 
a solid breathable piece, which also means in the heat, it's gonna let air in and it's gonna let air out. So you ain't gonna stank in this skirt. <laughs> I want to wear it with t-shirts, I want to wear it with blouses, maybe with a cute colored tank top. Oh my god, that'd be so cute. Like, I can imagine this with like a bright yellow tank top and like a red skinny belt, like that primary color fashion god realness coming through. I just think it's adorable. I think this skirt is just super, super darling. I just love it. I don't know why, but like wearing this makes me think of like riding my bike through the park and like bringing a baguette with me and sitting with my friends and drinking wine and eating cheese in a park that is what i think of when i put the skirt on also on the adorable skirt train is this awesome floral i love this floral because it's slightly muted a lot of florals in spring are loud, and don't get me wrong, I love me a loud floral, but I know they're not for everybody. I think this is a great floral for somebody who wants to like verge into the floral wor world, but is like a little scared of getting too bright. This floral, let's just take a look up close, is just a lovely combination of yellows, light blues, a little bit of pink, and then a brownish black stemming. This is also one of those amazing skirts that you can take and dress up and up dressed down super easily. Now, floral skirts sometimes can either look super like sexy club or they can look like fancy work. And this one like teeters in between. My only lament on this skirt, and we're talking real here, is that it does not have pockets. It does use a side zip as well, so it's not in the back. So just when you're putting it on, you have to think zippy on the side, zippy on the side. It is lined in this nice kind of sheery fabric. It is not your normal acetate. It's like silky, satiny. Guys, I looked really hard for what this is made out of. I can't find it. I'm a little slow today, so maybe that's why. Forgive me. But yeah, I can't find out what it's made of. It does feel like a polyester coverage. And then in the satiny lining, I don't know. I don't, oh my gosh, I found it. I found it. It's all polyester. It's a happy skirt. How can you wear a skirt like this and be sad? This dress, when I saw it on site, I was like living for the print, ow! It is beautiful. It is a mint colored backing with a lovely print in pinks and oranges and purples. I'm just gonna hold this up so you guys can see it. Beautiful, right? It's so pretty. Now around the collar here we have again that I think that's the same polyester satin that we just saw in the skirt and then here again the polyester satin kind of call out at the waist adding definition. This is a nice detail because there is a pleated bust and then it's being pulled in by this detail right here so you're seeing that pleat kind of come to life here. Also in the back the pleats are also repeated here across the yoke so you have a straight yoke and then it goes into a pleated design here. So that's gonna add a little just like airiness around this region. <laughs> Say goodbye to boob sweat. It's gonna, it literally seems like it's designed to not have that happen. The arms are very sheer, so you don't have any lining like you do for the rest of the dress through the arm, which is nice, because it just gets some nice air in and out, and it is obviously thinner. And then it's gonna come down to that satin lining again on a cuff with two buttons. Very cute. And then the lining itself is in a robin egg blue. It's not in that same satin. It feels like a polyester. The dress is both lining and the actual upper are polyester as predicted. Boom, I'm getting good at this, guys. Ba -da -bow, ba -da -bow, ba -da -bow, bow, bow, bow. I don't know how the rest of it goes. There, I got excited though. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, that's price is right, right? Is that price right where they're like, come on down? And then you're like, man, 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 man. Okay, I'm gonna stop because that song's super annoying. But anyway, when I saw this dress, I was like obsessed with the print. I had to have it. So it's just as cute in person as <laughs> it's just as cute in person as it was on the site. The only thing that's like a negative for this dress is it's on the shorter side, and it's gonna definitely give you some thigh action. So I would just recommend that if you are uncomfortable with that, you wear shorties underneath it, just some cotton bike shorts or something, or you could wear leggings underneath it, make it work for fall, winter, whatever. This dress is, it's just the best. I don't, I have any, I don't know the way to say it. I feel like 
I am not a person that loves patriotic garb, which is funny because my mother was in DAR and she was always like making me do patriotic things as a kid. And that might be why that I have a slight aversion to red, white, and blue. I'm just like, oh, red, white, and blue. I know I'm American. I should be very proud of it. But like, seriously, I'm like, oh God, not red, white, and blue. But then I saw this dress and like my world changed. I love really smart use of stripes and geometric here. Super interesting. We've got some ribbing detail here, um, just to add, you know, very clean, crisp lines on these pieces. So they're not folding over haphazardly, they're folding over with a vengeance. So as you can see here, you have a fold over, a crisp line that just adds that definition. This is great because the pattern matching is impossible in a design like this, but you can clean it up with this kind of ribbing here, which is awesome. It also has this fun tie around belt, which has the same ribbing around the outside or piping. I don't know what you call it. There's a term for it other than piping, but it has the same piping all around the outside of it, just making it very clean, very crisp. It gives it a tailored feel, it gives them an expensive feel is what it gives it. Mama look rich in this dress. And I, I do, I took some photos on this. Oh my gosh, you look amazing. It has a nice little flare out as we all love here on the Glitters and Lasers, Lasers channel. We got some pockets, so winner, winner, chicken dinner with this dress. It comes across, you have a crossover bust line here which is great for all chest sizes. So it's just gonna be a little bit lower cut the larger your chest is. It's a side zip entry. I was able to get this on over my head, no problem. Ladies with a larger chest, this is probably gonna be very helpful for you. It then nips it at the waist, just giving you a nice kind of shaped figure and flares out. So it's just super comfortable, super cute, very um, vintage feeling, but modern with the print. I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. When you get patriotic sexy, when you look really hot, but show love for America, patriotic sexy, patriotic sexy. Hexy. You're not decreeing the country by wearing a flag on your body. You're using a print that's in red, white, and blue, and therefore not disgracing our nation's black. If you care about that sort of thing. I only know that because my mother was in DAR and I learned a lot of things about what it means to be American. Apple pie, freedom, parade floats. I could go on. <laughs> That's not what they taught me, but it's humor. I feel like I gotta tell you guys that because someone's gonna be like, America is more than parade floats. <laughs> so earlier, we talked about a t-shirt that was great for your casual days. Well, here is its dress companion. First of all, I love this color. This is such a fun color. We do not see it enough in my opinion. It's this like teal, bluish greenish. Is it blue? Is it green? I don't know, but it's great. It's got some fun button details here at the top, but they're not real working buttons. Like you can't like unbutton it up here, which is probably good because I could see a whole lot of things that could go wrong there. Like some buttons pop open and there's like a Janet Jackson moment that you didn't intend on. So in this case, I'm gonna be like, yay for non-functional buttons. <laughs> we have a fun tie at the waist, which is a great little detail. It also allows you to add some definition to your waist. So if you're like me where your waist is much smaller, than your hips or thighs, or it's smaller than your chest and you just wanna pull that in to just accentuate your figure, you can, which I always love. I also love that you can leave it loose if you don't wanna accentuate it. So it kind of lets you play with the style a little bit. The length is that perfect summer length just above the knee, and it's the soft jersey fabric that is lovely. Lovely, I love it so much. It's actually rayon and spandex mix, but it is, it is amazing. I love this dress. So this dress is just really comfortable. It's nothing fancy, but it's like gonna be a summer staple, I guarantee it, because it is so cute and so comfy and no fuss. Like me. <laughs> comfy? I guess like if you cuddle me, I'm comfy. I mean, I got some extra pad and it's like a pillow. <laughs> Okay, next we have what I think is the first t-shirt to accurately sum me up as a person. It says, cute, but kinda weird. That is me. That is me. I'm cute, but I'm kind of weird. Yes, I'm cute, 
But haven't you heard? I'm little bit weird. I'm cute, but weird. Yes, I'm cute. But a little bit weird. I'm cute. But kind of weird. Yes, I'm cute. What is this dance move? What is this? This is never. Been, and then I just keep doing it because I'm like, I've committed to this. The funky chicken. I think I just did the funky chicken, which just sums up why this t-shirt accurately represents me as a person. It is soft as a mother. Sometimes I get these t-shirts and they are not great. Not necessarily from my class, but from other places. And this is why I generally stay away from shirts that have text on the front. But when I saw this, I was like, let me caress this area some more. Um, but when I saw this, I just had to have it because I was like, this is me. And when I got it, I was so impressed because it was so soft soft. I just want to sleepy sleep in it and I probably will. It's a mix of cotton and polyester, standard little gray print, and the printing is in a light blue. It looks like white but it's actually a light blue which I think is kind of cute but a little bit weird. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I need to chill out. Chill pill. <clears throat> Two more items left in the hall. I'm cute. Weird. God, it's definitely, definitely out there. I love it. It's a really soft t-shirt. It personifies me in clothing. Two thumbs away up. I've been doing that recently, this thumb up thing. I don't know where it comes from. Like no one's ever been cool for doing this, but for some reason I picked this mannerism up and now I'm doing it to things. Yesterday I thumbs up some cheese. I was like, this is some good cheese. I'm like, where is this coming from? Just a very positive person now, and I gotta do it with my thumbs. I gotta let everybody know how happy I am with my thumbs. <laughs> bah! If you've missed the ven menu, if you've missed the menu, if you've missed the memo, <laughs> obviously it's getting close to dinner time, and Mama's a little hungry. Okay, don't judge me. I just I want a snack. I want a snack, so my brain is gonna keep inserting food words. Next thing I'm gonna know is I'm gonna call this a hamburger and then I'm gonna say like and this chicken nugget and this pizza come together to form a great cohesive meal. And I'm like what? Yeah anyway. <laughs> this is the color of the season. In case you missed that memo, in case you did not see Pantone's color of the year, this is it. This is your quintessential way to enter into wearing that color without going too far. It's cost affordable, it's a very lightweight so it's Many seasons of wearing it, you can wear it in spring, summer, fall, maybe winter with some layers, depending on where you live. Unless you live in California, then you're probably good. It is made of cotton and tensile, so this is super light, going to dry very quickly. It's also got a great fit. It's got this split seam here, which allows the back to be just a little bit longer than the front. So it's, for those of you that like to cover the booty, you will be able to cover the booty more with this shirt. I, when I put this on, I was surprised by how lightweight it felt. Like, I always would see those old ladies in movies wearing sweaters in the summer, and I'd be like, how do they do this? Now, they probably were wearing legit sweaters, because, like, I guess, you know, when you get older, you get cold more often. But this is how you can do it stylishly, because it's very lightweight. It would be the equivalent of probably wearing a t-shirt, which I thought was just kind of neat. So I love this. I thought it was fun, and I like showing you guys great basics. This is a great way to bring this color in and a lovely basic that's pretty all season. I love this color. I'm so glad it's the color of the season because I actually like it and now I'm gonna wear a lot of it, but it's a really pretty color. And this sweater feels expensive. Like on my body, it feels like it costs many monies that I do not have. <laughs> so the last item is not a piece of clothing, but it is my favorite thing from this haul. Sometimes you see an accessory and your eyes just light up. There's like, ah. You hear like some music, apparently Ariel plays when I hear a something I, or see something I really like. And you just have to have it. And there's like no rational reason why you need it. You don't have a place you need to take that accessory. And the accessory itself might not be the most practical. Like it's not a new wallet, it's not a new day-to-day -day bag. But when you see it and you make fashion eye lust to it, a relationship forms that cannot be fulfilled unless you own it. And my friends, that happened to me. I'd like you to meet Amelia. I named her because that's how much I love this bag. It's Amelia. I'm obsessed with it. 
It is obviously more of like a night clutch. It's not a day-to-day -day bag. You know, you need to like hold it. So it's definitely something you'd wear out. But I think it is the coolest the bag ever. And it wasn't even that expensive considering it's all wood. It looks like, you know when you make stuff out of popsicle sticks and it always looks terrible and in your mind it's always going to look perfect? This is like someone who's really good at working with popsicle sticks. Like to a level that should be celebrated because... This is just so cool. It's little sticks of wood. What I love here is that they put some plastic like seaming here so you can actually fold this over. So it's very flexible and durable. I just think this is the coolest. It's also very lightweight. In fact, when I was walking around, I shot this with a look. And when I was walking around with it, people were stopping me and going, where did you get that bag? It's so cute. And I was like, oh, this bag, I don't know. It's just, uh, Cause I did that thing. I did that thing. You have two choices when somebody asks where something is from, right? First choice is to either go, oh, this, it was so cheap. I got it on sale. And then you like literally pridefully boast about how cheap you got it for. That's option one. Option two, I very rarely get to pull out where I'm like, oh, this, oh, well, it's just something I picked up, you know, it's special, blah, blah, where I pretend like I'm the only one in the world that could ever have this bag. And I like this bag so much that I played that game. And I'm not a girl that plays that game, but oh, this bag made me play that game because I was just like so into it and so much, so proud that I owned it that I wanted other people to be proud of me for owning it. True confessions of a shopaholic. There you go. This bag affected my pride. But I love it. I'm gonna wear it all the time. We're gonna be best friends. So guys, that is my Mod Cloth haul. That is everything I picked out. I am really happy with all of it. I've already worn a lot of it. Cause I couldn't wait. Like as you see, I didn't unwrap things today. Cause I was like, oh, I just really wanna wear this and I don't wanna wait until I unbox it. So I'll just unbox it early and then wear it all. Which has essentially happened. I've already worn the bag out. I've already worn like half the items because it just was like, I really, really liked it. I just really, really liked it. So yeah, and I hope you guys like it too. If you have any questions, comments, anything else you want to tell me about your life, you can leave it down below in the comments. Links to all of the items as per usual are in the description. If you enjoyed watching this video and you are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. I love how I was like not subscribed. It's like I unsubscribe to you, not subscribe. But if you aren't subscribed, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe because that helps a sister out. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Me and my bag are gonna go be fancy now. So I will check you guys later. Have an amazing rest of the week and peace.